and welcome in 2024! My name is Eva and today's video, like every year, is dedicated to the color of the year and this time color of the year, color of the 2024 is peach fuzz. I think I found such color in my collection more or less and the closest shade I have is in this unfortunately not available anymore Nabla So Blooming palette this shade right here that is shade chamomile it's still very delicate and pastel color so I found some shades that are maybe not exactly like this particular shade but they are very very close besides if the color of the year is peach fast that means we are in peachy shades and what can be better than peach palette here we have glam shop nude brzoskwienia so nude peach the palette that was released with the very peri i bet that glam shop didn't know that the peach shade will become color of this year but it's very convenient because in this palette i can spot two pretty nice shades that are very similar to the peach fast shade especially this shade right here so today i'm going to create makeup that will oscillate around this uh, peach fast color of the year but it will be maybe not daily but more um, something dramatic more evening i want to do something different today i'm going to apply my p louise base zoom you in and we can start. Start as usually, slightly boring. It's only a matte beige under my brow. And I'm going to work with both, with Glam Shop palette, but also with the Nabla palette. I know it's discontinued, you can get it, at least not from the official Nabla website, but since I have it, I'm going to use it. But I'm going to start with this palette first, and I'll mix this shade with this one to contour my eye and make my outer corner darker. So here I have two shades I showed you. I'm just mixing them in the palette, so just tap one shade, the second one, and, <laughs> and it's ready. I'm doing more winged shape because I really enjoy this shape. And as you can tell, I'm applying this shade on both lower and upper eyelid. Now I'm taking this shade so this is more similar to the color of the year it has particles but i'm going to treat it as matte shades so they won't be as visible on my eyelid and i'm using it to contour my eyelid above my crease if you have blue eyes then this color of the year will be perfect for you because peach shades are perfect for blue iris i think it's good that we have peach shade of the year however the peach fast color is, in my opinion, very, very light. It's very specific, subtle pastel shade. It just won't be visible on everyone. And now I'm taking, let's say, the color of the year. And I'm going to blend everything even more up to my brow. For me, it's so light shade that I can use it as matte beige. It's maybe slightly too dark or slightly too warm toned. It's more visible than simple matte beige, but it's still light enough. Now I'm taking this dark brown from the So Blooming palette. I'm going to make my corner darker. I'm applying this shade in my outer corner, but also into my crease. I like this more graphic, less blended edge, and with this slightly reddish peach underneath and now i'm taking this shade that i think is also pretty much like peach fast shade but has some really nice gold and also pink reflects i'm going to use it as my main shimmer i didn't clean up this area so here it will create slightly like grungy effect because this brown will be still slightly visible underneath this shimmer well it's always something different maybe this is what i need this year something more dirty and grungy and i don't think i will stop here i think i need extra accent i'm taking creamy eyeshadow by glam shop 
this one. I'm not sure if it's available on the website or not. The whole details and shades you will have in the description box. But I added slight amount of Ingla Duraline and I'm adding it to my makeup as eyeliner. Even with gentle wink. Ah, why not? I think it's the fault of my Christmas makeup. I really like such metallic and shimmer eyeliners. And to make this look more into peach shades, I'm going to use this shade of Cupid Zero as my pencil, my waterline. This is shade Apricot, but has peachy color. I'm going to apply my mascara, foundation, concealer, this kind of stuff, and I'll be back with the finishing touches. Time for the blush. Today's makeup won't be monochromatic, however, I want something that is more or less peachy and because this shade that I use as my shimmer has some pinkish vibes and unfortunately I am not sure if I will be even able to catch that because I can see it when I have my mirror here and I can see some peachy and pink shade here and going into even more burgund shade because it creates such shade with this brown one but I'm not sure if I will be able to show you this on camera but the most important thing is that I I can see it so I can use some more peachy and pink shades on my cheeks so uh, this is shade truth however it's I think counted as highlighter but I'm going to use it as um, more blush than highlighter it's completely not highlighter for me as you can tell although the glow is pretty much like a highlighter and as my highlighter, I think I'm going to use a mix of something like this. This is by Kiko and my pretty gorgeous pink highlighter from the Holographic palette by KVD. So maybe first I'll use this pink and then I'm going to use this product by Kiko to intensify my highlighter. And as my lipstick, I will use product from the Glam Shop Slavic Collection Kwiat Paproci. makeup is ready. I know that this is not typical color of the year makeup but it has some peachy elements like even this lipstick is in my opinion peachy and we have some peachy shades on the eyes. By the way I forget to <laughs> mention that I added these lines here because I apparently forgot that I have hooded eyes and I got stamps here anyway, so why not to embrace them? <laughs> and hence I've got eyeliner in two uh, places on my eyelids, which I pretty much like. I wanted to do something different this year. Maybe this is the future. Maybe this is what I will like this year. Something more graphic with eyeliners, maybe glitter, maybe something different. Who knows? We'll see what this year brings us. So that will be it in today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here, for watching. Also a big thank you to all my members for your love and support. We start new 2024 year. I hope it will be full of well, at least interesting makeup looks and I hope that you will be here with me and as always I love you very very much and I see you soon. Bye!